everyone welcome back to five day crypto my name is chase today we're going to talk about bitcoin we're looking at first and primarily bitcoin on the gossian channel so if you like the video today give us a thumbs up you can do it right now i wouldn't mind uh subscribe to our channel if you're new here we jump right in we have nothing to promote or shill i don't make videos on anything that i wouldn't personally invest in or have invested in or aren't invested in has been was is are should would uh bitcoin on the five day gaussian channel is what we focus on gaussian channel five days tells a perfect story usually time and time again what do we have now well we have one of probably the first we have a first for bitcoin at a couple different time scales we're going to look at a couple of th cool things today first of all look at where what we've done on the gaussian channel most of the time and when i say most and bitcoin's entire history and most every other coin in history once it breaks that center line it tests the bottom line have we done that no we're actually become quite bullish over the past five to ten days and we've gone from you know the 28 28k all the way up to 42 and a half that's pretty bullish we've sliced through back through the median line which acted temporary as support we broke through it the money is usually on the going to the bottom of the line. Look back in history. Anytime we've broken it, we've gone to at least touch the bottom. Broken bottom. Anytime we've come down, we briefly came right below it, fake out back up, and then the bottom. Keep going further. We haven't gone anywhere. We didn't break the median line, right? Anytime we've broken the median line, on Bitcoin USD on the five day, it's always gone to the bottom. So what do we do now? Well, the only thing we have to go off of is this slight move back in here, right? This is our 2018 start of our bear market. We had about 10 days of under the median center line on the Gaussian, and then we had a fake out rally up. We almost touched the top and then not quite and fell back down. If we do that again, that will be our warning sign that that could be playing out again, and we could be due for some lower lows. Now, in order for this channel to turn red, some of you might be wondering what that takes. An ever so slightly, ever so gently decline in the channel. You can see basically, barely right here, it starts going down a little bit. The downwards of that, uh, of this channel, makes it turn red which is not as bad as you might think it just means usually it's a more bearish long term probably not much uh price action not many you know all-time highs are probably not likely so to speak so watch look at our channel now we're kind of it looks like we're kind of ape at the apex here right so we don't want this to go down now if we kind of kind of use your imagination here maybe it continues up the only way it doesn't come down is if prices get pretty bullish pretty quick over the next now i'll say pretty quick that's over the next month or so right so if if we do this and the prices keep going up then we'll go up if prices are on the other hand hit this line and then come back down we're probably going to turn red here and come over like we did back here see this so that was one of these others is probably going to play out one or the other. Uh, my money, I don't know yet. We have to, we don't try to anticipate moves. We look at the charts, rely on the charts. They tell us the information and then we react based on what the charts say. So one of these others is going to play out. If, if we want this one to play out and it to stay green, which we do, we price is going to have to keep coming up here. It doesn't have to go really quick, but just slow, steady grind, hold that median line. And we should still be okay. Um, on the other hand, if we go up to here like we did in 2018, get rejected or not even touch that top line, and then you see us start coming back down over the coming weeks, that would be a sign that we're probably going to turn red. If we turn red, it's not it's not a panic. It's not the panic mode. It's we're just kicking the can down the road. Do I think that this is going to play out? No, I think. We'll probably just kind of bounce along. Crab market continues for the next three to six months, whatever the time frame is, and then we'll make our move. And when we do make our move from, if we turn red, we want to wait for it to turn green. That's our first check mark. And then we want to wait for price action 
to be on the top of the Gaussian channel. And then you can know that and be more confident that a move to the upside is coming in the not so distant future. It doesn't mean that prices just skyrocket, right? So we turn from red to green, prices went up, not quite straight to the moon, right? But eventually, eventually, long term, that's what we like to focus on, long term. So buying anywhere after the Gaussian channel turns from red back to green or just stays green, right? It doesn't have to go from red to green, right? We could dip into it, come back out of it and just hold on top of it. The point is, once you've entered the Gaussian channel, you want to get out of it quick, quickly as possible. The longer you stay in it, the worse it gets. So that's on the five day, which I would recommend focusing on that. You can use it on the one day, the three day, whatever time frame you want. It's just more likely to have a fake out the shorter time frames. If we go up, on the other hand, look at the weekly. Look at what we've done on the weekly. We've held that top line as support. Have we ever done that before, Chase? I'm glad you asked. Let's go look. On the weekly. Now, we're on the weekly. Look right here. Pretty interesting. So we came down right on it and then got a bounce. However, what do you see that's different this time than that time? Bueller? Nobody? Okay, I'll take it from here then. We Our bounce made a new higher high. Look at this high right here. Our high was 41.322. Our high here, 42.605. What happened here? We got a bounce and did not make a higher high. So although it's similar to this move, it's not quite the same because, yes, a higher high. Anytime you can make higher highs, it's a possibility that the trend is reversing. So if we come back down, all we want to do, make a higher low. If we come back down, let's just hold above the low, which was 29.301. If we come back down and we hit 29.4 and then go back up, we'd want to look for a higher high again. And then I would say, in my personal opinion, that once you have a couple different confirmations, that trend is broken. So we could be going back to the upside more sustainably if we come back down, if we make a higher low, and then if we proceed back up and make another higher high, hey, Things could really start heating up for Bitcoin. Could be some great news all around. So that is Bitcoin on 5-Day Crypto's chart today. That's what I'm watching for a little bit of a longer term, right? Short term, long term. But that is what I like. That's what I see. That's what I tell you. That's why you're here. Okay? Maybe for the Chainlink sign, maybe you just got to see that every day. Uh, we did a Chainlink video earlier today. If you haven't seen that, go watch that. Give us thumbs up here, there, everywhere. Here, there. <laughs> Uh, we have Twitter, Telegram, Patreon. If you're new, you haven't subscribed to those, those are down below. Otherwise, that's it. I appreciate you being here this long. If you have, thumbs up to you, to me, on the video, wherever you want. Thumbs up everywhere. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.